Hi Floss Tube, welcome back. It's Jennifer, the Whistle Stop Stitcher, I'm here with Floss Tube episode 20. Um, and it's been a few weeks again. Um, life is just crazy, as I'll tell you about in a few minutes. Um, I'm sitting in a new spot today. Um, I'm actually sitting in my chair at my sewing table in my sewing room. I usually always film in here, but I sit at the other end of the room and I've been sitting on the floor so that I can hang a quilt behind me over the edge of my long arm for like a backdrop but it's just too painful for me to sit on the floor. It's just too hard for this old lady to do that. So um, I'm sitting in my chair today at my sewing machine, which you can't see, but is right here, um, just so that I can be a little bit more comfortable. Um, anyway, so hopefully you can see me okay. It's been a long day today, so pardon the dark circles under my eyes. I had to travel to Atlanta today for work to go interview some interns at the law school at Emory University. So that was fun, um, but it was a long day. I've been up since 3.30 this morning. Um, my alarm was set for 4.30 because I had to meet my coworkers at 6 a.m. Um, but then my son woke me up at 3.30 complaining about a stomach ache and vomiting and all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm exhausted. But my husband's cooking dinner right now, so I figured I would hurry up and make a quick video while he was cooking. Um, because if I wait till after we eat dinner, then it's just going to be too late and I know that I'm too tired. And so I will just go to bed instead of doing this. And so here I am. Um, so yeah, it's been a kind of crazy couple of weeks. Um, work is crazy as usual. Um, I actually have some good news to report. I got a promotion last week which is awesome, very good for my career. Most likely means that I'll have even less time <laughs> for stitching and crafty stuff and boss tube and all of that. But I'm gonna try not to fade away, um, but I anticipate that there's gonna be even less time for this kind of stuff. Um, but, but it's a good thing. Um, it's a job that I've actually been working towards and hoping for for quite some time now. So I am excited about that. So anyway, so that's been going on. Um, we also had our first fall retreat in the Whistle Stop this week. This is number one of eight in a row. I think we have a one week off a break um, at the end of October. So it's gonna be busy cleaning up, turning over, um, but that's good news for the Whistle Stop. And if you guys have watched um, just keep stitching Pam and Steph their latest video you will know that they are coming to the whistle stop for a retreat later uh, in, in October so they talked about it a little bit on their video this week so I am so excited for them to come down here I can't wait to meet them um, and uh, their are friends that are coming down here for their retreat so that is exciting so I'm looking forward to that um, what else um, I've I have actually managed to do quite a bit of stitching over the last couple of weeks. Um, so I've got lots of projects to show you. Um, I have very little haul. I've been too busy with other things to think about buying much stuff, which is good. Um, but I do have a few things to show you. Um, what else? I, know, I, I meant to make myself a list and I didn't. And so now I know I'm going to forget some things. but. I don't know. Anyway, so I will, um, sorry, I was looking at my watch because I think I got a notification of something. Okay. Um, so let's just jump right into what I've been working on. That's probably the best thing to do here. That's why you will all come and watch. You don't care about any of this other stuff, right? Um, okay. So the first thing I have spent quite a bit of time working on was on September 1st started the um, Tis the Season Sal um, that is being hosted by Lynette at Homesteading on the Homefront. It's a Blackbird Designs pattern. Um, I've got it here in front of me. Um, I think it's an older pattern that it was also recently published in a newer book. So this is the book Home for the Holidays, Blackbird Designs, and the Cardinal is the Tis the Season chart that everybody is stitching. Um, here's the whole thing. You can't tell if that's in focus or not. Anyway, so there you go. So I started on September 1st and I'm very pleased with my progress so far. So here is 
what I have. Yay. There we go. So I am stitching this on 36 count willow green linen from XG Design. And I absolutely love this greenish color for this pattern. Um, and so this is about three or four days worth of stitching. I actually haven't worked on this in about a week or so, but it moves along very quickly. And so I actually was a little bit worried that if I stitched it, um, kept stitching too fast, that I would just be done and it would be too quick. And I have some cardinal fabric that I bought to make a project bag and I haven't even made it yet. <clears throat> so I was worried I would hurry up and finish my project and hadn't even made my project bag. So I decided to slow down a little bit because I've got so many other things I'm also working on. Um, but I'm really happy with how this is turning out and I think I'm gonna get back to it and put in a few more stitches. I'm gonna try this weekend to work on some project bags so I hopefully can get that cardinal project bag done. And then I will put that um, in that bag. So, okay, so that's the first thing. So I started working on that on September 1st. And that's gone well. And you like my cute little needle minder. I got that on Etsy. And I can't remember where. But it's cute. Next project. I have done a little bit more work on the Peace on Earth. Sal. Um, cottage Garden Samplings. Hosted by Christine at Stitch All the Things. And Sarah at Stitchology. So I think it, last time. I actually had pretty much all of this done. I think maybe I hadn't finished the snowflakes yet and I don't think I had these leaves or these leaves here. Uh oh. So it's it's coming along. It's looking good. This is 36 count dapple linen from Picture This Plus. And I love it, love it, love it. And this is, I mean, I think you guys are all familiar. I should have showed the front of the pattern first. I'm getting out of order here. So here we go. There's the pattern. So, anyway, let's see. I have difficulties putting stuff back. Okay. The other one that I put a little bit of time in on. Next, I did a little bit more work on the Snooty Parrots sampler. And I think I switched this to a bigger Q snap. Let me show you the pattern. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I'm all discombobulated today. This is what happens when you're tired. Oh, good grief. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So there's the sampler. Snooty Parrots sampler. And I finished completely. Uh oh. Finished completely page one, and now I have moved on to page two. So, here we go. So this is page one. And so now I started moving the leaves across and this little border here. That's all I've gotten of page two so far. But I absolutely love this so freaking much. I love the colors, the pink and the reds, and I love working on it, and I'm going to love the finished product, but I just need to get moving a little bit faster. This is 36 count Legacy by Picture This Plus. Love it so much. I did realize that I had not bought enough floss. So I did not realize that when I purchased the floss that it was based off of using one strand of floss and there were also a couple of the colors that needed two skeins. 
So I had just bought one skein of every color. So I needed to double the amounts because I'm using two strands. And, and then I also needed those extra skeins for the ones that originally were two. So I'll jump ahead a bit and show you a piece of haul. This is one of the few things that I have. I ordered the rest of the floss that I needed from 123 Stitch. So these are the additional skeins that I need for that. Last but definitely not least, I started another project. <laughs> <laughs> and I apologize for the coughing. I think I've got some allergy stuff going on. So I've been like wheezing and coughing and it's not fun. Anyway, so Priscilla and Chelsea, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch, are hosting a stitch along with PC Pumpkin Hollow Farms by Little House Needleworks. And so I went ahead and started this. And I'm trying something new. So normally I stitch in a hoop or a Q-snap um, on a frame. And I decided that I wanted to try stitching in hand so that I could try the sewing method. I am interested in looking for ways to speed up my stitching. So that's what I'm doing with this one. And I finally feel like I'm getting the hang of it. So I have wanted to try the sewing method for a long time, but I just could not wrap my head around how to do it if you were stitching one stitch and crossing it at a time. So I can... I pretty easily figured out how you would do it if you're using like DMC and you're going to do half of the stitch all the way across the row and then go all the way back. It's that movement seems pretty intuitive to me, but doing one stitch at a time did not. And so I was thinking about it and thinking about it and trying to figure out, you know, how does this work? What direction is best? Do you go from left to right? That doesn't seem right. Right to left, up or down. So I kind of finally started to figure it out and then the lovely and talented Jan Hicks over at Jan Hicks Creates posted a like a stitch with me video where she showed herself stitching in hand. And then she posted another video talking about how she does the sewing method. And it was honestly the single most helpful floss tube video I have ever watched in my entire time of watching floss tube videos. It it suddenly made the light bulb go on for me. And so I suddenly got it and I understood. And she explained, she pretty much, it was as if she was in my head and answering every question I had. So she talked about stitching from right to left and going you know, up and down. And what do you do when you reach the other end of the row? How do you come back? Um, and kind of, you know, stitching in and out of holes that either have threads in them already or don't. And so it was, amazingly helpful. So that video, I watched parts of it multiple times because it was, it was just so, um, instructional and informative. And so that is what I've been doing with this. And I actually think it is working. Like I am stitching faster because I feel like I've gotten quite a bit of this done. So this is my start. And I mean, that's like a lot of stitching. If you look at the pattern, I mean, the bulk of it is that big bar across the middle and then obviously the house, which is gonna also take some time. But the leaves and stuff on the bottom are gonna be pretty, pretty quick to stitch. So, I mean, in the three weeks since my last video, I stitched all of the Tis the Season, more on the Peace on Earth, more on Snooty Periods and all of this. I feel like that's a lot of progress for me in that amount of time. And so I am using all of the called for colors here. I love it. And this is a piece of fabric that I got in a D stash. This is 32 count mellow by picture this plus. And I love, I think this yellowy color is perfect. And so it's a little bit longer. I've just got it rolled up with my French fry needle. Minder. <laughs> and so I'm really enjoying this. I love how it's turning out and I want to hurry up and finish stitching this because it'll be perfect for the fall. I want to hurry up and put it on something and put it at the farmhouse. I, the only problem that I haven't figured out is that I don't think my stitches are very neat using the sewing method. So I mean, I'm, I don't normally railroad or anything when I stitch in a, in a Q-snap but I feel like my stitches usually are pretty straight and pretty neat. And I feel like that's suffering a bit 
with this. I don't know if I can get close enough for you to see my stitches. Let's see. I mean, they're not bad, but they're not good. I don't know. If anybody has any tips for how to get my stitches to lay better and flatter and not be so twisted, let me know. Because right now I'm not really happy with the condition of the stitches. So I need to figure that out if I'm going to continue to stitch like this because I don't want to sacrifice the quality of the stitches just for speed. So we'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's the last stitching that I did. Um, I'm going to hold it up again. I really want YouTube to get this as my thumbnail. I would really like that. So maybe if I hold it up here long enough, <laughs> they'll get it. Yay. All right. So there's that. Okay. So that's all the stitching that I've done in the last couple of weeks. But I will tell you that I am already thinking about starting some new projects. Now, I know I have too many projects and I haven't finished any <laughs> lately, but I don't care. I want to start all the things and life is short, so stitch hard. <laughs> That's going to be my new motto. Okay, so I don't, you know, I, if I want to start it, I'm going to start it. Because why not? You know, there's no cross stitch police. Nobody's going to tell me I can't have a thousand unfinished projects. <sighs> anyway, so moving on to the little bit of haul that I got. Um, actually, first, I'm going to mention that this last Saturday, I went to my monthly um, Knoxville Modern Quilt Guild meeting and my friend Melissa um, was there and actually she presented a workshop for us about fabric weaving which was awesome and I'll actually I'll show you my project here in just a second and she also had gotten some stitching stuff from somebody and was like here if anybody wants this stuff like just take it so I looked through some of it and I took a few of the things so first I'll show you guys there was fabric now it's all Ada but that's okay because my daughter does like to stitch occasionally and Ada is good for her. Um, and I might be able to like dye some of this and use it for myself too. I mean, I like stitching on Ada. Why not? So there's a whole bunch of, you know, pieces of fabric all in like white or off white. So I can dye these and use this. So that's awesome. And then there was a bag of floss. And this stuff looks pretty old. So I'm not sure what exactly is in here and how usable it is. This just looks like really old skeins of DMC. Let's see, But hey, you can use that. My daughter can use it. So yeah. It smells a little musty, but it seems like it's okay. Anyways, it's good to have as extras. If I like run out of something at the very end of a project then they need like one little skinny piece of thread, you know, maybe this will work. Ooh, there's also a skein of something fancy. Some kind of a gold cord. That looks like it would be interesting to stitch with. Hmm. You know. Anyway, it was free, so I took it. So, so there was that. And then quickly, before I move on, I will show you my project. So we were working on a triaxial weave using um, fabric strips. And so this is my project. Isn't that cool? So I could have done all, these ones. See how they alternate between the really dark brown and the baby blue. I could have normally you would do all of these in the same type of fabric. So 
all this direction is one fabric, all this direction is one fabric, all this direction is one fabric. And so all of your little hexagons would be the same. But I wanted to change it up a little bit, so I alternated those two colors. And I think this is really cool. So there's a piece of stabilizer under here. And so I just need to iron it down, it'll all stick. And then I think I'll trim, you know, the center section that's woven into like a circle or a square and make like some kind of a hot pad or like a table topper or something cool. Isn't that neat? Fun. So that was my project. I just need to finish it up. Oh, I think I just heard somebody pounding up the stairs. Hopefully they don't come bust in here. <sighs> okay. Next, haul. Just a couple of things really quickly. Um, first, I went to Joanne the other day to look for some stuff, and I got the new Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine, which has all kinds of super cute stuff in it. I absolutely love this. Here, I need to try Punch Needle. I really do. And this one is cute. And then this one I freaking love. And then look at this one with the, the truck. How cute is that? And then I love these two that are stitched. This one I think I need to make soon because it's small. That would be easy. And then I love, love this one. There's more stuff inside that is, it's just super cute. And then look at this one. Adorable. Sorry, I think I'm blurry. Look at this one. I love it. So there's just all kinds of cute stuff in here. And there's an article by Vana on some finishing techniques. Look at this, how cute. I like those, just those teeny pumpkin motifs. It'd be cute to put like on a scissor fob or something. Um, look at this one. Cute. Yeah, and I mean, there's, oh, this one is my favorite, I swear. It's a Barbara Anna. Look at how adorable that is. I need to make that immediately. And, and this one with the colored pumpkins. I mean, come on. Every single one of these is so cute. I love it. And a cat with candy. How oh, cute! Seriously, guys, this is a really good, uh, good. Uh, what do you call it? It's not an episode of a magazine. What is it? <sighs> you guys are screaming at me right now. This edition. Anyway, this one is really good. So go buy it if you don't have it already. And if that kind of stuff floats your boat. Um, I got my monthly flosses from Nancy at Victorian Motto. They are fabulous as always. These are the regular limited editions. I get six limited and six primitive. Look at these. Pretty. Oopsie. And I also got my color and cotton ones, and then I forgot and I put them away with my flosses, so now I don't remember which ones they were. Oh, I can't show you. There's the prim ones. Oh, they're just so beautiful. Look at those colors. Love it. 
about the blue. Anyway, so those are my flosses. And is that it? okay, last thing. I don't remember if I mentioned in my last video or not. I don't know if I had bought this pattern. I think I mentioned the pattern. I don't think I'd purchased it yet. So I went ahead and bought the Pilgrim by Long Dog Samplers. I am obsessed with this pattern. Is that not gorgeous? I love it. I seriously, seriously love it. So much. And it says, the completion of my labors leaves me with a joyful heart. It's got a horse and a raven and a flamingo and like a fox and a dragon and a toad or a frog. I mean, so, so cute. And a bunny. I love it. So I then went on a hunt to figure out, okay, this is a single color stitch, you know monochromatic so what um i think i hear my husband saying the food's ready so i gotta hurry up um so i need to do a single color thread and i said you know what for this kind of a project this is going to take a lot of hours i'm going to invest a lot of time this is going to be like an heirloom piece when i'm done if i ever finish so i'm going to stitch it in silk so i went on etsy to silks for you and I purchased two different colorways of their silk floss um, as options for this pattern. And they arrived today. I think my kids are coming upstairs. Mm. Yep, hang on. Okay, it was my daughter coming to say, Food's ready. So I've got like three, I said three minutes and I'd be down. So this is the first um, color that I got, which is 128. And it's like a bunch of different like mustard gold colors. Is that not so pretty? I love that. So that's one. The other is color 139. <sighs> you guys, I kind of, I'm leaning towards this one because it's just so, so pretty. Man. I'm obsessed. Sorry, I should have opened the bags before. But I was in a hurry to get up here and hurry up and do this before I ran out of time. So I'm trying not to rip them up too much because I need to keep the floss in them so I know what number they are. This one is like coral, like peachy, and with a yellowy. So they're both kind of similar with the yellows. But this one with like the peachy pinky color. So you can see, you know, I've got two of these warm colored flosses. Sorry guys. What did I do when I put this stuff back in the bag? <laughs> like, I made it impossible to get back open. What am I doing here? Sorry. I need to end my three minutes. Okay, so here's the two. So what do you think? Which one? I'm leaning towards this one. But this one would also be very pretty. But I just love, like that corally color is like my favorite color. So I'm kind of leaning towards this one. And then I need to figure out fabric. I've got plenty. So what do you think? Which one should I go for? Choices, choices. Anyway, so there's that. So that was my haul. Some silk, pattern, and oh, 
I haven't gotten it yet, but there was someone on Instagram that was doing a huge tea stash of amazing stuff, cross stitch stuff. And I can't remember her name now. I feel bad. Um, I bought a crap load of stuff from her because it was good stuff. Like she had a long dog pattern and a skein of like a red, like a raspberry silks for you. And she had started like a tiny corner and she wanted to get rid of the project. So I bought that. She had another like ink circles <coughs> pattern with some blue silks. There was a purple hank of silks for you. Um, and then I think another maybe another long dog or similar type of pattern um, with a bright red skein of silks for you. So those are all on their way to me. That's okay. Like I said, life is short, stitch hard, <laughs> stash hard. There you go. Life is short, stash and stitch hard. That's going to be my new logo. Um, all right, I think that's it. Um, I'm sure that I am forgetting something. I don't know what it is because I didn't make a list, but that's okay. Oh, there's a couple more cells coming up, I think, or at least one more on September 23rd. Blackbird Designs Away We Ride Sal. Steph at Just Keep Stitching is one of the hosts. I'm definitely doing that one too because I have that pattern and I've been wanting to stitch it and so I just need to kit it up. Um, I think I have some of the called for flosses and then the rest I'm just going to substitute probably with Victorian Motto or some of my other fancy floss. I've got plenty of fabric. So I'm going to get that kitted up probably in the next couple days because we start I think on Sunday. So I'll be working on that one. Um, I haven't made any more progress on the, um, the Lizzie Kate one, the felt with the heart. <laughs> um, but I want to get back to that one as well. Um, and I think that's it. I did buy a whole bunch of new fabric to make some project bags. I forgot it downstairs, so I can't show it to you, but it's super cute. Joann's has some amazing fabric right now. Most of the time their stuff is just okay, but they had some super cute and they were on sale. Plus I had a coupon, so I bought a whole bunch of different prints to make some project bags. So I need to get to that. I also still want to do a thousand subscriber giveaway. <laughs> I have reached a thousand subscribers, so thank you all so much. Um, I haven't figured out what the giveaway will be just yet, so I need to get that stuff all together. And when I finally do, then I'll announce that I'm going to do the giveaway. So that will be coming in then one of the next um, upcoming videos. Anyway, I think that's it. I got to get downstairs and eat my dinner. <laughs> thank you for stopping by again. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my information is down below my name. Um, as well as if you're interested more in the Whistle Stop Quilt Retreat, um, our Instagram, Facebook, and website are all listed down below. Um, we'd love to have you come and stay with us and stitch with us. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for now. Um, I hope I haven't forgotten anything major, but I will try to be back soon with another video. Uh, thank you all again for stopping by. Um, I really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!